you know, I drove over five hours to be here today. That's because it pisses me off. But this is what creating jobs looks like. That's creating jobs in China, not here in the United States. It's gotta be a crime for somebody to have the audacity to talk about creating jobs or keeping jobs here in the United States. I don't think that you need to hear from me or anyone else here today. This, this tells the story. We had 170 some workers that lost jobs here. These are good paying jobs. When CEOs like Lisa Schiller decides to close these factories up and move them overseas and moves them to countries like China, we can't compete. They pay their workers pennies on the dollar. There's no health and safety uh, standards. There's no environmental regulations. It's just a race to the bottom. And while you're building another plant in China, moving our jobs overseas, you're taking a $5 million handout from our, our government. You shouldn't be running for Congress. You should stand out here and tell these people and justify those actions. When that plant opens, they will have more manufacturing in China than they will in the United States. Their workforce has gone down over 60% since she's run this company. So we ready to vote? Yeah! yeah. We ready to fight? Yeah! I submit to you, there is nothing that we can't make here in Pennsylvania and here in Pennsylvania 7. That's right. That's what That's my right. goal is. Right. My goal is to make sure that we are bringing manufacturing back in full force to this district and to districts throughout Pennsylvania. That's how we build the American middle class. I in introduced and um, it passed a, a Regional Innovation Hub Act, which is designed to create 20 tech hubs around the country so that we're not just talking about the Silicon Valley, we're talking about all these different regions. Pennsylvania 7 is a perfect location for one of those regional innovation tech hubs. This is where we can start this, this real resurgence of American manufacturing. I can absolutely relate to the people who are living there. They do want to live the American dream, and they know that that has got, gotten for them by having personal liberty, not government intervention. Most people in Carbon County are gonna have a really tough time relating to somebody who has an offshore tax shelter because she's got so much money, she's gotta park it somewhere else. I don't think there's a lot of people in Carbon County like that. My opponent has not committed to putting her vast holdings into a blind trust. She's invested in big oil, she's invested in big pharma. I don't know how you could possibly go to Congress and represent the people on issues like pharmaceutical prices and oil prices. I don't trade any individual stocks. And a big part of the reason is that I don't want to be conflicted when I am taking votes in Congress. I look at who is standing beside me and in front of me labor unions, the people who built this country. Quite literally, all of you produce the materials to build our roads, our bridges, our homes, and our buildings. Unions built the middle class. The union way of life is the way of life that we need to protect. One that guarantees strong wages, benefits, and workplace protections. Congresswoman Wout has a 100% lifetime voting record with labor. Woo! Think about that. Not many people can say yeah. that. 100% she votes with working people of this, of this state. Lisa Schiller can't say that. This is, this is her legacy.